Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> Serious scampery. That's what. Oh no. No. That's what's keeping me. Oh, I could set it back to. Oh, did you just close my laptop? You're so scampy. Three kittens. It takes three kittens to close the laptop. Furious <laughs> scampiness. Um. So, uh, let's see. If you missed the excitement yesterday, we got our vaccines, eight week vaccines for everybody. And um, came home with a little two week old orphan kitten uh, named Roman uh, because Calypso was totally willing to feed him at last and take care of him a little bit. Um, but then once we got home, she was not so into it anymore. Who could blame her? But um, so she, Jane came over and picked him up in the middle of the night to do the early morning feeding and is taking him back to labs. And um, if they can't find uh, other kittens to put him with, then one of the staff people will take him and um, feed him. He needs to be, he's, he's still bottle feeding, so he needs to eat every two to three hours. Well, probably more like three hours around the clock so um that is what will happen with him i need to vacuum that up i think it's new water um possible the feed might reset um, in a minute because Windows is trying to update something. Uh, wait, what? Uh, whoops. So I need, uh, I need to grab some clean bowls. Bowl washing. In and out, in and out. All right, move on, move on. No, no, oh, goodness. Okay, forget it, forget it. In and out. You can't let Bunny in, so if you're coming out, you have to come all the way out.
such little scamps. Except for you two. You two are good. Good kittens. I keep my vacuum cleaner and then just oh no. Oh bundle. So scampy. Alright. I'm gonna put food somewhere else. So the carpet can dry a little bit more. Okay, scampy mess. It's a good thing the uh, camera can fall in the water. Okay. Try not to spill this. And okay. Uh, I'm going to round up the others. There it is.
Okay. <laughs> I think I have all the keys. That's good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Kittens have been returned. Even this really scampy one. He's so adorable. He's very cute. Mr. Foxy Fox. Oh. Oh, Mr. Foxy Fox. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, right. Okay. Um. Oh, I've got a few minutes. Maybe a few. Maybe very few. Maybe I'm way kicking Real quick. Like, let's see. Today is the 10th of July. Babies are 57 days old. They're gigantic because of their floof. Their floof makes them look so big, even though they're not. Let's see, Foxy Fox is 9.32. All right, we'll do Buggles. Buggles was 8.14 yesterday. Oh, good boy. 8.14. 36 today. That's a good buggles. Uh, Mumbo. Hi, Mumbo. Mumbo was 918 yesterday. 928 today. Good job. Uh, Mr. Fox Fox. 9.32 yesterday. Uh-oh. 9.27 today. Mr. Foxy Fox. Mr. Salsa. Mr. Salsa seems to have been involved in the water incident. Not surprisingly. 978 yesterday, a thousand today. Salsa is big enough for his litter. That is exciting. Little Miss Lindy. She's so special. Everyone at Laps was was in awe of her magnificent beauty. Her beauteous pattern. She was 915 yesterday, 922 today. Beauteous. And Miss Hulabelle. Hulabelle, 887 yesterday. Eight ninety today. So we're still looking good for uh spay neuter dates starting the week of the twenty first. So that is good. Um, kittens. Oh, you're so cute. I have two minutes to play with kittens now. Two minutes. Who wants to play with me? Buggles, Mr. Buggles. Oh, it's Mr. Buggles. Oh, Mr. Buggles. Did you have fun yesterday? So they got their vaccines yesterday. So, and they had quite a big day at laps. Um, because we were there for kind of a while. Um, because of Roman and all that stuff. Oh, Hula Bell. You're so cute. You come here. Come here. Hula Bell. Um, so we'll see how they gain weight today. But they've got, um, so. Cool. The first kittens are going in. Monday, I think. Monday or Tuesday? I'll have to check. But anyway, adoption day should be the 25th or the 26th. So if you're gonna, if you're thinking about adopting, get your applications in 
um, I will post on Facebook the last adopt the last application date. Um, it will probably be maybe Monday or Tuesday. Um, and then Labs will review them. Hi, Mr. Foxy Fox. I'm glad someone came to see me. Oh, oh, he's so cute. There he goes. Oh, he was so brave yesterday, sort of. So brave, sort of. Yeah. Were you a little bit brave? It was pretty, it was pretty brave. Mommy's outside. Oops. Um, everybody should hear, uh, I would say by the end of this upcoming week, so the end of the week of the 14th, next week, I guess we call that, uh, I would say. Hi, Mr. Hoxie Hoxie Hoxie. You're so adorable. So adorable. It's Thursday. Okay. Well, anywho. Look at this floofy floof. I know it's hard to be waiting for so long to hear back. Um, we do that because we actually have a lot of adoptions. We've had a lot of adoptions in the past. Laps has that have that fall through. So the their their policy is actually not they don't um, adopt kittens out before the spay neuter, and they for for non tiny kittens, kittens, they will do um, first come, first serve. So if they get spayed and neutered on Monday, then the kittens are available for adoption Tuesday morning at 1030. So whoever gets there first gets the kitten, you know, as long as they have an approved application. Um, oh, Foxy, Foxy, so cute right now. Um, that is not the best process for these guys because they have more exposure and then um, Usually we have enough applications to match kittens in advance, but um, in the past laps has had people um, make a commitment and then, you know, something comes up and then we've turned down good applications um, because we thought the kitten was committed. And then we end up having an older kitten who is less adoptable and all the other homes that Previously, one of them are filled, and um, so we want to make sure we don't end up in a situation where um, they get committed too early. Or if something happens at the, sometimes they'll find something at the spay neuter. Like Tango had that fever, which set her back a couple of weeks. Um, so things like that can happen too, and um, sometimes it just doesn't work out for people if they've got vacation scheduled or, you know, what, whatever reason things happen, life happens sometimes. Um, so we try to, to do the matching as close to the adoption date as possible, just to limit the risk that we'll end up with, um, with kittens waiting and no one coming for them. Oh, Mr. Foxy Fox. Um, but it, I know it is, um, difficult to wait to wait so long. Um, oh, Lindy, look at this little scamp. Look at this clever little scamp. I guess fish bed needs to move over. Fish bed is not a step stool for Lindy. <laughs> All right, I have got to go to my meeting. Uh, hopefully it won't be too long and then I will be back and hang out more with Ethan and try to get some work done. Okay.